Hey folks, I just want to show you how to make a Cartesian diver using a plastic pipette and a corrosion free nut. This is a brass nut or you can use stainless steel. Okay, first step is you wedge the nut on the pipette and you get it good and wedged on there so it won't come off. And then you cut the pipette, leave it maybe about a half centimeter below it right there. So the nut has just a little bit of pipette sticking out. Okay, now I've got to get this thing so it is just a little bit less dense than the water. I want to make it float when it's in the water, okay? I want to make it just a tiny bit less dense so that when I compress the bubble in it, it will be more dense and it will sink. And so that's how the Cartesian diver works. So I'm going to go ahead and fill this pipette up with some water, but not all the way in which case it would just sink. Now, I look at it right there, and you'll see that I'm not quite to halfway up the bulb. If I put that in the water here, that would work as a, I'm going to tip it down, that would work as a uh, Cartesian diver, but it would be kind of hard. I'd have to squeeze it pretty hard to get it to, uh, to compress enough. I'd love to get it to float just a little bit less well so I didn't have to uh, to do so much squeezing for it to work. So I'm going to add just a little bit more water. Well, how do I add some water? This is the trick, okay? If I squeeze this now to get more water, all I'm going to do is spew water out of the end here and then draw up more water. I'm not getting any better. I want to get some more water in here to replace this air. So I have to turn it over and now I'm going to sort of wiggle it a little, and you can tap it or wiggle it. I'm, I'm, what I'm trying to do is get the air to get up into this tube. And sometimes tapping it on the end works. Sometimes you can't get it all the way uh, filled with air here. There's like a little bit of water that's here because of some um, capillary action or surface tension. It's hard to get it to go down even when I flick it or I'm getting everything in my office wet doing that. But at some point, I've got at least some of the water to join the other water down here. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to squeeze out some of the air. Now there's some water in there too. There were some bubbles, but I'm going to squeeze out some of the air. I'm going to overdo it now. I'm going to really squeeze this guy. I'm going to overdo it and I'm going to draw up some water. And now you see I've got a tiny little bubble. I went too far. Tiny little bubble. Watch what happens with my tiny little bubble. Whoops! Down at the bottom too much water, too dense. Ah! So now I'm going to have to redo this. So what am I going to do? I need to make this less dense so it just barely floats. So I want to go ahead and get some of the water out and replace it with air. That'll make it less dense, right? So now I can use just upright and I can squeeze some water out. And just keeping it upright, just let some air in. Now the air is down here in the tube, so I'm going to have to kind of wiggle it and try to get that bubble to come up and join the other air at the top. And I'm actually going to squeeze out some more water. And now I'm getting there. Now I'm liking it. See, now by the time I get that all that air to join that other air up there, this guy just bare floats. Now I'm a happy camper because I can take that and I can put it into my bottle of water here. Okay. And you see it just barely floats. Now I'll just top this off so there's no air on top of it. That keeps me from having to compress that air when I squeeze. And I'm going to cap it off. A special lime green cap. And now all I have to do to make this thing go down is make it a little more dense than the water. How do I do that? I compress the air bubble by pressing, and then I let go, and it comes back up. Press, let go, and it comes back up. Now, if you're finding that you have to press too hard, it means it was floating a little too well. There was too much air, and you'd have to add some water. If you found that you came back tomorrow and it's down at the bottom for some reason, right? It was too dense and you had to ask some, uh, add some air. Unfortunately, then you'd have to dump everything out to get it out and start again. But that's some of the fun. Just try and go back and forth. Eventually, you get one where you can just barely touch it 
squeeze it just a little bit. And the, the magic is if you can just do it with your thumb so that people won't know what you're doing. You don't have to see it to be going, right? You can just with your thumb, whoa, and down she goes. Don't worry if it takes you a few tries to get this thing right, or if you come and it's sunk to the bottom and you realize you have to make it a little less dense. That's how you learn density. You mess with it with your own very own body. You'll do it. You'll be magic. And the world will cheer. Hooray.